So as your savvy real estate auntie, I will always give it to you straight. And yes, I alluded to the fact that I think haunted houses are real because in my 20 years, I have actually had multiple occasions where things can't be explained. But I'm only going to share two stories because I don't want to violate anybody's privacy or make anybody feel you know, too weirded out about certain homes. So we already established that in New York, you don't have to disclose that someone in the house, but it is always best practices if asked directly to acknowledge that. So what has happened to me? All right. Years ago, I was listing a triplex for rent and my stager and I were preparing the home by, you know, moving things around, getting ready for pictures and video. And we noticed that whenever we moved certain particular items, um, you know, little decorations here and there because we wanted them to be established in another room or space, that someone kept moving them back or hiding them, sticking them in a cabinet or a cupboard, or even moving our water bottles. We were home alone in the property. My landlord wasn't there, neither was his child, and there were no other people present besides me and my stager. And we were together at all times, moving things around together. So neither of us could have taken you know, the little trinket box that we wanted to put on the mantle and hide it in the cabinet. It wasn't either of us. So after two or three days of doing you know, rearranging and then having things move back, we went to our client and said, you know, is it possible that someone doesn't want us to move these things? And that's when our client told us that his wife had passed away, not in the house, but she passed away suddenly on a business trip. And some of her cherished items that we wanted to, you know, highlight in one space and move from another were very special to her and that she didn't like it when they were touched. So what did we do? We actually ended up speaking to the energy. Okay. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a madam or excuse me, a medium or anything like that. But um, we did speak to the energy and ask permission to move the things. And after we did that and explained why we were moving them, then the item stayed where we put them in the um, rent, you know, in the kind of like new position for staging purposes. So it was a little bit scary, but mostly just kind of exciting to, you know, to, to recognize that there was energy there and that um, we did make, you know, a, a positive difference because we spoke to the energy and got permission. But yeah, it is possible, at least in my experience.